इतफाक़ की बात है मैं चर्चा कर रहा था कि न्यूजीलैंड के तेज़ गेंदबाज डियन नैश की तो मेरे दोस्त ने बताया कि अरे वो तो आपके बगल से जा रहे हैं तो मैंने इनसे रिक्वेस्ट किया अचानक चांस लिया और ये मेरे साथ हैं सो आई वॉज जस्ट बेसिकली ट्राइंग टू नैरेट द स्टोरी हाउ वी मेट सो थैंक यू सो मच सो काइंड ऑफ यू जस्ट आई मेट यू एक्सीडेंटली एंड यू अग्रीड फॉर दिस शॉर्ट इंटरव्यू सो माई फर्स्ट शॉट हाउ डू यू लुक एट दिस गेम बींग कॉल्ड सच ए शॉर्ट सीरीज डियन Oh well, I, I, we just want enjoying the opportunity to watch a bit of cricket. Obviously, um, you know, off the back of the World Cup, where everyone was engaged, and it's exciting to have international quality players down here and in our backyard. And I think we were all excited about watching, you know, how the series could pan out. And um, cricket's on a bit of a high in New Zealand at the moment. I think everyone's engaged with it. So um, whilst while while that's happening, I think it would have been good to watch. So it's a shame the weather hasn't played its part. But. Uh, So uh, during our growing up years especially in 90s and early 2000 everyone was familiar with Dion Nash and suddenly you are nowhere in the New Zealand scene I, we don't hear much about so but just tell us our viewers what you are up to these days coaching commenting or whatever we don't see you uh, yeah no well I you know I, I enjoyed playing that was um fun but um I'm not much of uh you know after the game it's, I didn't want to coach or do anything like that so I've just ended up um doing my business and um trying to make some money got a family now three kids oh, and um so yeah 12 14 and 16 year old so i've got my hands full there <laughs> just looking after them but um no i i love to keep in touch with cricket been at a function tonight and you know come down from Auckland i live in Auckland not Wellington but i'm just here tonight but um no i just you know just trying to live a good life and enjoy things and um so, my daughter's called India so I'm, i've got a oh. affiliation with India every time i, I tell her off i say it depending on what's it if it's good or bad is how i pronounce india 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 <laughs> so well, what's the reason that's very interesting because i remember jonty roads also has named one of his kids name uh, on india so what what was the reason is it the kind of love adulation you got as a player in india or what is the reason behind that uh well i just I think I like the name. I I loved India and tr- touring. It's a amazing. You could know we're like like that in the rest of the world to play cricket. So I think everybody who goes there from to play cricket has that experience. It's very u- unique. It's all encompassing. We love it. But I think um no, I just love the name. It's slightly old fashioned name in my sense and how I think. And obviously I you know I ha- I have good memories as well. So you know i think it was just it, it felt like the right name it seems that it go, it's got a good vibe goes with it so how much you follow indian cricket and especially since your days playing days indian cricket has gone under a tremendous change especially in fast bowling when you see the kind of quality india has in their fast bowling uh, department what do you make of that ah uh, well I, yeah i mean they've always had the quality bowlers you know um uh, all the way through if you go back to kapil dev and um you know uh there's there's many fantastic bowlers during the years um but obviously probably better known for spin or for or for slower tracks um and 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 so on but i think the global game has brought forth the talent that's always been there you know so um I, look it's exciting i think um what i see is the pitches are probably allowed for fast bowling it's more exciting to bowl on a pitch that's got a bit more carry and bounce not some of those old indian pitches which were sort of slower and turned a bit more um but you know i i i think it's exciting to watch i i i think the indian has, the team has led you know in, in in its style i think there's been a lot of flair a lot of batsmanship that has developed the the game brought the game forward but you know i still long probably for the old days you know the old sachin tendulkar is you know still the best in my mind you know and and um ganguly and rahul dravid and you know all that era that I played against I've I romanticized it probably a little bit but um you know I I probably think back on on that and and think that you know cricket's in India has always been in a good place so it's not surprising that it's good now my last two question uh, dion uh, the 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 own one you spoke about the batsman one any one bowler like from the current generation or older generation you uh, indian bowler Oh, you put me on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know I know that. But I, just since you have been honest because you are not connected with the game. So whatever you have watched on TV or whatever. Yeah. No, well I mean well my well I grew up see I'm going to go I'm going to defer the question by saying my favorite Indian bowler of all time is Kapil Dev because I grew up in an era watching Kapil, Imran, Richard Headley and both them. They were inspired me to play the game. um and so like i can't look past that and you know all of the modern day bowlers are are, are wonderful you know bumrah obviously is a freak of nature but 
uh, it's unfair just to single him out because so many bowlers are, are bowling and, and in so many different forms. You know, like I think the T20 bowlers are totally different to now to a Test bowler, to a to one even to a One Day bowler, and they're almost becoming much more specialist. So I think it's unfair to single out. I think the game is exciting. I think. You know the specialists coming into the game and all aspects are exciting to watch as well. So I'm just enjoying it across the board. But for me, probably I will always romanticise those older okay. um, times. You know. So my my final question: When you see the T20, especially players opting for one format, has it become more challenging for the fast bowlers with the seam bowling kind of? Do you think that if you were to play in this era, how different it would be, or how tough it would be? Is it tougher? I can't say. I think any generation, you can only be you can only be the best in your generation. That's all you can achieve. So I think um, you know you, it, it, athletes will adapt to the game and the circumstances. I think there's many more opportunities now because there's so many variants of the game. But yes, of course, there's aspects which are tougher um, today, which um, you know have developed in the way the games evolved. But also, you know, back then. The conditions now that people bat on and play on are, um, are better. You know, I think one of the things that has evolved is the quality of the wickets. You know, that and the way you can hit through the line. You know, rather than having to have the technique to survive a very up and down or spinning or turning or slow wicket, which you know that that was a skill that was required in the older days. So, you know, it, you can only play in your generation. Um, I think just enjoy it as it is and and enjoy the the current mm. game. Um, you know, there's aspects I. As I say, I probably prefer from the olden days, um, but there's, then there's also aspects I prefer today. So, just enjoy it. The thank game evolves. You, thank <laughs> you so much, Mr. Dion. Yes, uh, lovely chatting with you, and I will always remember. <laughs> I have done so many interviews, but not like this. And someone like a former great agreeing. So, thanks for, once again for your generosity. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Stay cool.